Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'd like to look into the haystack option for the structured output for the LLM in combination of uh, running LLM locally using Olama. So uh, there is a tutorial available on the haystack which explains uh, how to uh, implement a structured output from uh, Open uh, AI <coughs> LLM, uh, I think GPT 3.5 for example. And I uh, took this tutorial <coughs> and I'll put URL for the tutorial in the video description and I uh, tested, it, uh, tested it out with local LLM running on Olama. So if you look into the imports here, what I did, I replaced uh, uh, original uh, LLM generator with Olama generator and this is possible because uh, Haystack provides out of the box Olama generator and we can <coughs> run inference uh, uh, through LLM running on Olama uh, on your own desktop or, or server just out of the box. And <coughs> let's see briefly. <coughs> So we got, <coughs> from this tutorial example, we got uh, class city, we got, got class cities data, which represents a list of cities, obviously. <coughs> and then uh, we construct um, uh, pydantic uh, JSON schema. Uh, this method is deprecated and yeah, it should be uh, changed if, uh, with a new method. I'll do that, but this is just a quick sample script. Uh, once I'll put uh, this implementation into Sparrow, I'll uh, update uh, all the methods to use uh, valid methods, not deprecated ones. For now it works. So we got JSON schema and then what I like, we define our custom uh, output validator, which will use uh, Pydantic to validate and construct uh, structured JSON, out uh, JSON output out of the LLM. And uh, I like it because you can put additional logic into this output validator and if something fails, uh, it's easier to do to debug uh, when you have a validator in running in your own code. Instead of using utility uh, functionality, utility validator out of the box from the library, for example. So in this validator, we have uh, uh, we check if the output is valid JSON, then we reply it. If it's not, then uh, uh, error is being reported, and based on the logic, a couple of uh, um, additional requests are being made to the LLM because we uh, think that maybe from the first time output will be not uh, returned from LLM in a proper format, so we make one more call and we expect to get in a second or third call uh, proper output. If not, then we return the error. So this is how it works. And we define output validator here. We define prompt template, which um, explicitly says and instructs LLM to try to return uh, pure JSON structured output without any additional description text. Then we do uh, prompt builders. This is uh, haystack functionality. And over here, we point to the uh, local Olama instance running uh, Open Hermes uh, LLM, <coughs> and we get <coughs> LLM interface uh, or haystack generator here. Then we construct uh, haystack pipeline. We add uh, builder, generator, and output validator, the one that will ensure that the output is structured, uh, JSON. And then we connect everything together. This is specific haystack functionality. And then we also can draw uh, the image which would display how our pipeline, how the components inside the pipeline are interconnected. So for example here uh, it displays such nice image uh, and it's easier than to explain the, the flow of the pipeline this way. Then we pass the uh, parameter. This is obviously also taken from the tutorial and it's just like a raw text which explains uh, that capital of Germany is Berlin, then the population and so on for the France and for Lisbon. And then the task is from this raw text to extract structured data. So this is the actually what tutorials tutorial shows to us. Then we run the pipeline and here we pass uh, the text and we pass the schema which will be used uh, to validate and construct the output for us. Right, and then <clears throat> we get back the result and print back the result over here. So now we can uh, give it a try and just to see how it works. And I'm running uh, Olama instance on a separate machine on uh, Apple Mac Air M1 with 8 gigabytes, so it's very 
basic setup, let's say, and <coughs> still open Hermes 7, 7B uh, with uh, Q4 quantization works quite uh, quite decent. Okay, so we got the message that <coughs> this uh, JSON schema, model JSON schema is deprecated from Pedantic. It's fine, we'll replace that. Uh, no, sorry, JSON schema is deprecated and we should use model JSON schema, that's fine. Okay, so the, from the first try we got the error, something was not, <coughs> the output was not validated correctly. And let's see if the, from the second try uh, it will be executed. And, and this loop happens automatically, it's somewhere defined over here in code. Let's see. Okay, the second try seems also is incorrect. Yeah, so for, yeah, for the pipeline we specify max loops allowed free. Okay. And the third one is also incorrect, okay. So we can stop it. Let's try, let's try with uh, Notus, for example. So let's use Notus. It's funny because before the, the recording the video, it was working fine. If I open Germes, okay. So now let's run it again. Now we should see how it would work with Notus. So it just we would give. Uh, few seconds or, or let's say a minute to execute and uh, then we should see the output. Maybe it would be the same thing. So yeah, the, the issue with LLMs that sometimes you may not uh, get the response that uh, you would expect to get even uh, uh, even it, it's kind of simple requests. Okay, so first time is incorrect. Even the JSON itself looks quite uh, quite fine, uh, but the validator fails for some reason. So later I'll need to look uh, out why actually in this case it would fail. So I'll need to debug. Now let's second time is also not not correct one. Okay, now it's finally we got correct one from I think from uh, let's see. Yes, the second iteration was f was incorrect, and now it returned it correctly green. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'll need to back a bit more to see why uh, seemingly uh, proper JSON failed from the first time, but uh, uh, from the third time it, it, record it reported it that uh, we got correct result. Anyway, so it's a great thing that now with Haystack we can get structured output and running on local LLM and in this case I was using very simple LLM because I was running on low hardware and if you would run more complex local LLM then you would get even better results. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!